Hey, second grade. Uh, today we are going to be working on possessive nouns. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so possessive nouns, what are they? Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with nouns. Nouns are usually people, places, or things. Um, I believe we learned that a couple months ago. But possessive, does anybody know what that means? Think about that word. If you possess something, what does that mean? So possessive nouns are nouns that show ownership or possession. So for example, it is Denzel's computer. Since Denzel owns the computer, we should put apostrophe S after his name. This is different than a plural noun. So plural nouns show multiple of that noun. For example, there were several cats. There is no ownership, just multiple cats. So that is important to remember, guys. When we are doing possessive nouns, we are showing ownership. We're not saying there's more than one of something. So the apostrophe S is only for possessive nouns. If we wanted to change that sentence around a little bit, we could say that the toy was my cat's. Um, the apostrophe S shows that the cat owns the toy. It is the cat's toy. Okay, um, let's watch this video. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you do? I'm going to show you a trick or two. Let's bring out Tim and write his name. Oh, beautiful. Let's take his hat and do the same. What can we add to the name of Jim to show that his hat belongs to him? Do you know? We'll take a guess. It's good old apostrophe S. Apostrophe S. Apostrophe S. It shows the things that we possess. Jim's hat. Jim's hat. The hat is Jim's and that's that. Here comes Mary with a great big pie. Whoop! She dropped it. My oh my. Write Mary's name quite carefully. Ah, oh, that looks lovely. And then write pie where it should be. So far, so good. Uh-huh. Hang on in. Mary has a pie, so if we were to show that this pie belongs to her, what should we add? Well, nothing less than good old apostrophe S. Apostrophe S, apostrophe S. It shows the thing that we possess. Mary's pie, Mary's pie. Okay, Mary, goodbye. What should you use when your purpose is to show that a thing is hers or his? I guarantee you'll have success with good old apostrophe S. Guarantee you'll have success. Good old apostrophe, good old apostrophe S. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, it's pretty fun, I thought. Um, but it's good to remember, good old apostrophe S, we know that it's going to show ownership. So I hope that song helps you guys out to remember this. We are going to go ahead and do some practice now. So let's practice. We are going to change each noun to be a possessive noun. So the gerbil cage needed to be clean cleaned, excuse me. What is the answer? Now remember, good old apostrophe S, all we're going to do is we're going to add apostrophe S onto the end of our noun, which is bolded. So it says the gerbil's cage needed to be cleaned. Let's do another one. Um, the girl's toys, or the, excuse me, the girl toys were neatly lined up on the shelf. I may have given you the answer. So I am just going to show it to you here. 
The girls' toys were neatly lined up on a shelf. They are sho it's showing that they are her toys. So let's change it up a little bit. We were just adding apostrophe S onto the end of words here, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the sentence to show ownership. So our sentence in this case says, Kate has a kitten. What is the answer? I'll give you a moment to think about it here because I really want you guys to think about how you're gonna form your sentence. So our answer is going to be, it is Kate's kitten. So that apostrophe S, and we changed the sentence around a little bit, but uh, it means the same thing. All right, our next sentence to change is going to be, Bryce has plants at his house. How are we going to change this sentence to show ownership? Now remember, guys, your answer might be different than mine, but I want you to think about it. So our answer is going to be Bryce's plants are at his house. So I own the plants, they are at my house. So let's go through this worksheet together. Um, what we are gonna do is, well, we're not gonna write them, we're just gonna click through. Um, we are gonna uh, pick the possessive noun for each phrase by adding an apostrophe S to the singular noun underlined. So these are singular nouns. So the blanket of the baby. This one we're just filling in the blank. So the blanks, the blank blanket, <laughs> excuse me. I may have given you the answer for that one or hinted at it. So the baby's blanket, it is the baby's blanket. The next one says the wrench of the plumber. Remember we're just adding apostrophe S so our answer is going to be the plumber's wrench. The third one says the bicycle of the child. We are changing it to the blank bicycle. We're adding apostrophe S, which changes it to the child's bicycle. Next, we have the coffee of the mother. When we add apostrophe S onto the end of mother, it changes the word to mothers. So now we have the mother's coffee. Next we have the skateboard of Kate. You wouldn't really say the skateboard of Kate. So we're going to change that around by adding an apostrophe S and it becomes Kate's skateboard. Next we have the glasses of Liam. So that becomes Liam's glasses. So next, we are going to write um, or change the word uh, in parentheses under the line uh, and add an apostrophe S onto the end of it. So let's read the sentence for number six. Douglas returned blank sweater this morning. Our noun is Kyle. And again, we're just adding an apostrophe S onto the end to show ownership because it is his sweater. So our answer will be Douglas returned Kyle's sweater this morning. Number seven says, please put the blank toy in the cat basket. Um, so our noun is cat. So if we're adding an apostrophe S onto the end, it's going to say, please put the cat's toy in the basket. Number eight says the construction blank tools were in the truck. Our word is worker. So we need to add an apostrophe S onto the end so it'll become the construction workers tools were in the truck. All right guys, so that concludes our lesson on possessive nouns. There are some games that I found uh, for you guys to check out um, for online resources. And then there's also um, some hands-on worksheets which involve cutting, um, and putting it where it's supposed to go, gluing it. So if you guys have any questions, definitely let us know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Bye.